Okay, so one of the biggest things that women come to me and say is that there's just not enough time. Moms especially, there's just not time. I don't have enough time, so I just can't get anything done. I can't take care of myself, I don't have time. So first of all, I want you to think of something. Time is a choice. And if you don't like how you're spending it, make a different choice. Ladies, we all, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And I know the kids are always out there and ladies, we have these limiting beliefs that society or culture has ingrained in our minds that everybody else has to come first and that we just have to accept that we can't put ourselves first. Ladies, you do not have to accept that. If you wanna be in a good place and have energy for your kids and be healthy, maybe lose some weight if that's what one of your goals is, you have to prioritize your time. Ladies, if you don't value yourself, then you're not going to value your time. And if you don't value your time, you're not gonna do anything with it. So do you wanna value yourself? Do you wanna build your self-esteem and your confidence? Do you wanna put yourself on a higher priority so that you can take care of yourself, so that you do have time? There is time and you can make it happen, but that is the key, is you have to make it happen. Now, sometimes that means that you need to set some boundaries. Boundaries are not for the purpose of other people. Boundaries are for the purpose of protecting yourself and taking care of yourself. So sometimes boundaries mean I'm setting this time for me and nobody's going to interrupt that. Now, sure, I know kids can come in sometimes. Maybe that means you need to have 15 minutes where you let your kids watch a show or where you have your kids do their own quiet time and you go have your 15 minutes for yourself, whether that be a workout, whether that be meditation, whether that be just some quiet time to focus your mind, think of your thoughts, do some journaling, and focus on gratitude. Get your mind in a positive place so that you are in a better place to value yourself and value your time. Okay, ladies? So make that happen. You have that choice. You can make that time for you. Now for boundaries, now sometimes boundaries, that means you need to say no to some stuff. Maybe that means you need to say no to volunteering for something. Maybe that means you need to say no. I don't know what it is in your life, right? We all have so many commitments that we go to. You know, how many activities do you let your kids get involved in you know, do you try to work out carpools with different people so you can have turns saying, no, I'm not taking them this time. You're going this time with so-and-so or with dad or whatever it may be, right? Evaluate your priorities. Where do you need to say no? Where do you need to set some boundaries so that you can take care of yourself? Put yourself on a high priority. Prioritize yourself. This is not selfish, ladies. This is intentional. This is so you can be in a better place to pour into your families, right? We all wanna give back to our families, but if you have nothing to give, then you're not actually giving them anything. You're not actually helping your family. You're not actually fully present. You know, that time you're giving that your family, do you have the energy to do it? Are you resenting every second of it? Are you really kind of half or mostly not there? You're just kind of going through the motions? You're not present with them? Prioritize yourself. Prioritize your time. There is time for you. But you have to make the choice to make it happen. Now, ladies, in the MVP Moms program, this is something we help you to do. Daily routine. We help you to start out with a five-minute morning, daily routine to prioritize your time. Ladies, you can make five minutes to start out and you start small and you build on that, right? Because small steps build into larger distances. Every choice that you make, every action that you take is a snowball effect into the rest of your life. So what do you want that snowball to look like? Do you want it to be a snowball that's full of a woman who is energized and happy and confident? Or do you want that snowball to look like a woman who continues to have less energy, more exhaustion, more frustration, more resentment, and struggles to have self-esteem that she likes, struggles to have confidence? Which snowball do you wanna be in? 
Because for me, like I want to be in that snowball where I have confidence and energy and excitement and a high self-esteem and I love myself. So ladies, you got to make that choice. How do you want to spend your time? How do you want to prioritize yourself? What boundaries do you need to set? If you have some ideas or if you have some things that you do on a daily morning routine to make time for yourself, share it in the comments. Let other women learn from things that you're doing. Be an example to other women. Be an example to your kids. Ladies, I would love to hear if you have a routine that is for you, that is taking care of yourself, or what kind of boundaries have you set in place to make sure you prioritize yourself. I would love to hear it. This is something that we do, that we build in the MVP Moms program, but I know there's many ladies out there, they really struggle to make that time for themselves. So go out there today. Try and set yourself, start with five minutes, start small. At the end of each week, build on it. Build a little bit more, make it happen. All right there, ladies, that's my tip for you today for how you can have more time for yourself. It is possible, it is a choice, you can make it happen. So go out there, take action, and make it happen.